And here comes Dr. Eye. Romeo said, okay. up in the ring to look at that eye. eye. And Dr. Yeah. Romeo is a skilled professional. He doesn't panic. He's not going to stop the fight unless okay. it's absolutely That's necessary. Right. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go in behind the jab and try to get in and exchange it. And you pick you the piece outside. You can't knock okay. with it. Okay. Jab is working good, baby. Slip right hand. Slip right hand? Uh-huh. Okay. Jab. Yeah. That is just about it. And round three scheduled for 12. And Barkley comes out. Smoking. Burns retaliates. And this is Barkley's brought in style. He learned this apparently from watching the tapes of Juan Roldan against Herbert. He's getting very low and getting under the jab in the right hand. Well, it took one big left hook by Roldan, and if he would have landed another one, it would have been a different result. He had Tommy and Neil bad trouble. Well, that whipping left by Hearns just missed Barkley's head. Well, Olajide hurt Barkley and put him down with a left hook. And Tommy saw those that in the films, but he has not been able to get his own in as much as he'd like. And the eye is open again. Barkley's left eye is open. Plenty of time left in the round. Keep him a little low. That one straight to the body by Hearns. Great body shots by Tommy Hearns. Well, that's the way he was working in the gym, Al. Good jab, good jab, set it up, hook to the body. And there it is again. Daniel Stewart, within inches to our left, loved it. Those body shots have hurt Iran Barkley very badly. The crowd sensing something. Burns continues to go to the body with a left uppercut. Barkley's punches have slowed up a great deal. Keep them downstairs, the words from the Hearns corner. This is very much, I think, like what Don, Tommy Hearns did to James Shuler because everything in that fight flowed off the left hook to the body, and that's what's happening tonight. Before that, Al, the two punches that I ran through before that, no snap, no steam. All of a sudden, there it was. Goes to show you in boxing, anything can happen. And who would think that the right hand would be what Barkley would knock him out with? Not even noted as a right-hand puncher. Look at that man. Look at the way he's busted up. He's the winner. We had mentioned that if it goes long, it's better for Hearns because he would bust uh, Barkley up. Better for Barkley to get him out early, and he did. Gil, this place is just stunned as Iran Barkley has pulled off the upset. Only two other men have done what Iran Barkley has done. Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. You can add Iran Barkley to that list. Just a shocking upset by Iran Barkley. And Tommy still doesn't know where he is, Steve. He's still out. Oh, did he get rocked by a ferocious right by Barkley? Well, that's what Barkley was doing. We said he wasn't even looking at his, at his opponent. He was just winging, wingling, winging, and he hit lightning in a bottle. Just nailed him. Hearns just walked right into it. Let, let's take a look at that big right hand by Iran. Look at Iran looking at the floor. Now he's got, he's got the target. And there it is, just one swinging right hand right on the button. And another one, that's what is known as the coup de gras. 
from another angle, Gil. There it is again. Look at Barkley. Look at the floor. He's up again now, and he just swings, and boy, did he nail him. And look at that second right hand. How Tommy ever got up the first time was a miracle. On the way down, able to... Look at those eyes. I mean, he has no idea where he is. And this is the end of the fight now. Amazing, like you said, Hearn's able to get up from that, but now he goes through the ropes. Well, Richard Steele can see that he's completely helpless and stopped the fight exactly the right time. Here's the official word, Gil. Michael Buffer in the center of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The time, two minutes, 39 seconds of the third round. The winner by knockout victory.